Welcome to the Advanced Cardiac Life Chapter on Airway Tools. It is imperative you know what the basic airway tools are and how to open the airways for ventilation. Obstruction of the airway during cardiac arrest usually happens because of the relaxation of muscles in the throat, which causes the tongue to fall back and block the airway. There are different methods to open the airway, including the head tilt chin lift and the jaw thrust, and methods of ventilation which include mouth-to-mouth -mouth ventilation, mouth-to-nose ventilation, mouth-to-barrier device ventilation, and bag mask ventilation. The best way to open the airway is by the head tilt chin lift method. To perform this, place your hand on the patient's forehead. Then apply pressure with your palm, which will tilt the head back. With your other hand, put your fingertips under the patient's chin, lifting with your fingertips until the mouth is open. If there is a possible head or spinal cord trauma or injury, the jaw thrust method is to be used. To perform this method, place yourself facing the top of the patient's head, opposite from their body. Place both hands on the patient's jaw and lift upward with your index, middle, and ring fingers, and use your thumbs to open the jaw. For ventilation, the bag mask ventilation device, which is a ventilation bag attached to a face mask, can be used. It provides positive pressure ventilation of 600 milliliters tidal volume to the patient. When you practice this method, first perform the head, tilt, chin lift techniques to open the airway. And as you do so with the mask in your hand, place the mask over the patient's mouth. With your thumb and forefinger around the top of the mask, form a C. Use your other fingers to form the letter E and lift the jaw. Sometimes this method of ventilation is sufficient. If it is not sufficient, then a basic airway must be considered. The basic airways are oropharyngeal airway, or OPA, and nasopharyngeal airway, or NPA. The OPA is inserted through the mouth, and the NPA is inserted through the nose with both extending to the pharynx. The OPA is used in patients whose airway may be obstructed by their tongue or their relaxed upper airway muscles. The OPA is only to be used on patients who are unconscious as the OPA can stimulate gagging or vomiting as it is inserted. On the other hand, the NPA can be used on all patients, conscious or unconscious, as it is inserted through the nose and does not provoke gagging. NPAs are normally used when inserting an OPA might be dangerous or difficult. The OPA is a rigid, J-shaped tube with a flange on one end meant to rest on the patient's lips when properly inserted. The NPA is usually made of soft rubber or plastic. Suctioning is also necessary to maintain a clear airway in the patient by removing secretions, blood, or vomit. When suctioning, use flexible catheters for the oropharynx and nasopharynx and use rigid catheters only for the oropharynx. In addition to basic airway tools, there are also advanced airway tools such as the laryngeal mask airway, laryngeal tube, esophageal tracheal tube, and endotracheal tube. The use of advanced airway tools is dependent on the training of the person practicing the technique. This was the chapter on the airway tools. Please proceed to the next section of this course to learn more.